Des Bryant had a disappointing 2017 season, but looks like he's trying to change that. NFL Network's Jane Slater reports Des plans on working with personal wide receivers coach David Robinson the next month. Robinson told Slater that he wants to work on Dez's route tree, shaking off defenders at the line of scrimmage, and improving his footwork. Robinson has worked with other receivers such as Antonio Brown and Emmanuel Sanders. Shannon, how much will this help Dez? Well, it can't hurt him. Um, and it, it says something about Dez. Finally, instead of saying, I can run routes, I can do this, I can do all those things, clearly he sees that he's not the receiver that they're paying him to be. And... A lot of times, Skip, and, I, and I, I, I read the article where the guy says, well, they haven't asked Dez to do a whole lot. Well, maybe that's because they don't think he can do much more than what they're asking him to do. Which came first, chicken or egg? Which? which <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. And in order for him mm -hmm. to do more and to move him around, you have to be able to pick up the offense because yep. things are different on the island mm -hmm. uh, where you're outside the numbers mm -hmm. as compared to the slot. Yep. You know, Skip, the thing is, is that with Dez, is that when you watch him run, say, a go route, is that what he would do is what we call run the loop. He'd just bow, and now the DB would intersect, intercept him and pin him to the sideline. Now it's taking Dak to make a perfect throw, basically dropping it in a bucket from 40 yards away. Mm. Skip, that's, can, it, can quarterbacks make that throw? Yes. But more times than not, the ball's going out of bounds because they're going to err on the side of caution, as opposed to now... Most guys, you see them, is that what they'll do, they'll dip, and then they'll try to get right back on top of him. It's what they call putting the DB in a stack position. Mm. You want him chasing you, not hip to hip, side to side with mm. you, because now you give the, uh, the quarterback a bigger target. Yeah. You can throw it over the top, you can throw it in front of you, you can throw it inside. But when he's side, uh, you know, hip to hip with you, you give the quarterback a very small window. Mm. I'm glad Dez swallowed his pride, because this is a pride thing, and what the greats do to further their career, they realize that they have weaknesses and they try to turn those into strengths. Now, Dez was never the fastest guy, but he was faster than Steve Largent. Steve Largent was a tactician, though. He went yep. to the Hall of Fame. He did. Chris Carter wasn't the fastest no, guy. Jerry aren't the fastest no. guy. Nope. But they understood in how to run routes. Mm -hmm. Jerry is legendary. Michael Irvin wasn't the fastest guy. But they understood no. mm -hmm. how to run routes. Yep. So I am proud of Dez for realizing, say, you know what, guys, instead of me being bullheaded and say, yeah, I can, yeah, because all I'm telling you, every, every DB that comes up here, they watch, they see the tape, and they see you run the same two routes. Mm. So they're only going to play you because, first of all, they're not worried about you running by them because, first of all, you don't know how to stack the DB. Second of all, they see in breaking cuts. Mm. So they're just going to play those two routes, Dez, and I'm glad. I hope they move around. Mm. I hope he's he, he's expanded his, 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 mm -hmm. his mind and his capabilities of being able to do one thing. Mm -hmm. No, Skip, now, you know, Dez normally just plays outside. And I don't want to say what because he doesn't know the offense. Because Marvin Harrison, for the better part of his career, he lined up on Peyton Manning's right side. And Reggie Wayne lined up on Peyton Manning's left side. Yep. Peyton didn't like a lot of motion because he didn't want the defense to change. Mm -mm. Because he said, I think the blitz is going to come from here. Yep. If I put you in motion, you might bring it another way. Mm -hmm. So I just want to go ahead and leave you as is. But there's no reason Dez should not be able to move around. And Dez, if it gets too hard on you on that island, mm. come on inside. Mm -hmm. Swallow your pride, bro. bro. Yeah. You, try, you trying to last in the league. Let that pride stuff go where I, you know, they don't get the credit. Okay, fine. Gr granted, they don't. Slot receivers don't get the credit that the Edge, the Julios, and the ABs get. Mm. But as long as you're productive, who cares what type of credit you get? Mm. Clap for him, Skip. You should be happy. You know, I, honestly, I thought you were going to be harder on him because <laughs> you were the first one to say, as a Hall of Famer, more routes, yes. bigger tree, yes. grow your tree, yeah. Dez. What are you doing? It's too simple. You're, you're so defensible because th there's no deception to anything you're doing. Nope. There's no question. You're going to run a slant or you're going to run a jump ball route. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yep. That's it. Period. End of the story. Mm -hmm. I hope I'm wrong about this, but this feels like a last desperate act. This feels like way too little, way too late mm -hmm. to me. So you're telling me it took Des Bryant until he was going on 30 years of age, which is... Getting up there for yeah, a receiver yes, for a yes, wide out, yes. right? In your ninth, going into your ninth season until you finally broke down and gave up and said, I need help. Well, it's just desperation help because 
you think you might get cut, mm -hmm. or they're going to ask you to take a pay cut right. that you do not want to take, for pride's sake. Yeah. So you go to this receiver guru, guru David Robinson, like the throwing gurus we see, Tom Jordan, House. Jordan Palmer, Palmer uh, uh, Tom House, my friend, and he's worked with Antonio Brown, and he's worked with Emmanuel Sanders, and he's worked with several Dallas Cowboys, starting with my man Bryce Butler, and Rico Gathers, another guy I love, and little Ryan Switzer. So there's some, there's cachet credibility yeah. here, and so Dez in the locker room has surely heard from Bryce Butler, hey, he helped me do this or that, and Dez says, maybe he could help me do this or that, yeah. and so I read the whole story with the critique off the radio show that David Robinson did in Dallas, and the first thing he said, we need to make Dez more explosive coming out of his breaks. Well, how? <laughs> As you approach age 30 and you've had 17 different injuries and your body's a little broken down, if not a lot, mm -hmm. and you led the league in drops last year, and all of a sudden, can David Robinson make you healthier? I hope so. I hope, can he make you using those resistance bands? Can he make you a little more explosive? I hope so, mm -hmm. but it would surprise me. And then the one that knocked me over was, we need to teach him how to beat press coverage. You're 6'2", 225. So you're, you're in Shannon's range yeah, of yeah. size, right? Mm -hmm. Then you yeah. play in that ballpark. Uh, yeah, part? I was like 225, 228. All right. Did you have any trouble with press coverage? No. No, no. <laughs> Des Bryant, for a while, he was just beasting people, and, right. and he's having trouble with press coverage because David Robinson watching the tape says, you know, he gets pushed wide. At 6'2", 225, then you're just, you have no idea how to play football. Right. You, you have no idea how to use your, your attributes right. to gain leverage advantage. Right. Because it's pretty easy when you're 6'2", 225, and you're always bigger than the DB on you, yes. right? And, and Dez is like you're saying, because there are no DBs that's, that's his size. So he should be able to, when the guy tries to get his hands up, he should be able to wipe him away just, and, 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 and lean in on him, stem him, now put him in the stack position. Yeah. But Dez, what? He, the thing is, Skip, if you watch him, and I, I saw they, they had a route, we, if you watch him, he does a lot of this. And he, he almost like sits down at the line of scrimmage. And what a real good DB, would, when he does this and sits down, yep. he'll come through his chest. Yep. So now Dez is forced to get wide because he's trying to get up off him. Yep. You can't spend all that time at the line of scrimmage dancing. You got to realize, while you're doing all that dancing, mm -hmm. they got four guys or five guys come trying to tear your quarterback's head off. Mm -hmm. yep. There's a clock going off in his head. He's saying, I got to go five, hitch, and let this ball go. Mm -hmm. Well, you out there dancing. What do you think the quarterback's doing? Mm. He ain't got time to let you do all that. He does not. Dez was Dez is too big. Maybe he should, you know, I was a guy, Skip. I like, if a guy lunged at me, I tried to grab one side. I was an arm over guy, mm -hmm. especially with defensive back. Mm -hmm. First, a lot of guys wanted to feather me. They would just dance and dance. Yeah. But these guys know if I can just stop Dez's initial move, mm -hmm. I'm home free. Yeah, because he doesn't have the, he doesn't have the ability to get on top of me and explode away from me. Mm -hmm. Julio Jones. They know if they miss Julio, it's over. They know if he gets on top of them, it's over. It's over. Same thing with A.B. I'm not worried about that with Dez because I know he's running two routes. They're going to show the back, the back shoulder fade or it's an yeah. in-breaking route. Yep. And I can look at his splits and tell you which one he's going to run. The farther he is outside, because, Skip, what you try to do is that you try to line up like three, four yards outside the numbers to give yourself some room to run the deep ball. Mm. The closer you get to the sideline, it's coming on the inside breaking room. You're not running an out route when you line up mm -hmm. wide, that wide. You're not running a comeback when you line up that wide. Yep. So defensive, you don't think defensive back knows that, Skip? They know that. <laughs> and yet, I liked one thing David Robinson said is he's trying to teach Dez to be a little more patient with his burst, as in, Remember the old John Wooden? Remember the great John? Mm -hmm. Our audience probably doesn't remember John Wooden, the great UCLA coach, yep. but he always said, be quick, but don't hurry. Right. Meaning, have patient quickness. Yes. You know, where, where you, you choose when to be quick. Correct. Such as Ezekiel or Le'Veon running the football. You have to be patient, Correct. and then you burst yes. when it's time. And he's trying to teach Dez when to go and when not to go because you, you can expend all your energy going nowhere fast, right. right? Yes, my position coach used to say, son, be fast, but don't be in a hurry. Yeah. Because here's the thing. If you're open and the quarterback's not ready to throw the ball, what have you done? But if he's ready to throw the ball and you're not open, now what? And so So he needs to talk to Dak. They need to get on the same. Skip, I don't care how great your receiver is, but if he doesn't have chemistry with your quarterback, they're wasting their time. And they need to get a better rapport with they, one they another. They have little to no rapport. And 
what, what was sad about this to me is Des Bryant was so gifted so early, uh -huh. high school in Lufkin, Oklahoma State in college. He could just get by on jump ball ability. Yes. And he was a good punt returner. He's really a very good punt returner yeah. in college and, yeah. and a pretty good early punt returner in pro football. So you can get by on your ability so far, and then you start getting hurt, and then people figure out you're only running two routes. Right. And all of a sudden, Jerry Jones is saying, uh, I don't know about that salary next year. You might have to take a little one for the team here. But just go ask your position coach. Say, you know what, guys? Go get me cut-ups of Jimmy Smith running routes, the old Jacksonville Jaguar. Keenan McCardle. Once a Dallas Cowboy. Go ahead. Henry Eller. Yeah. Sterling. Go get those. Go get cut-ups. Oh. Skip, I would watch tapes of my brother running routes and Henry, Henry Eller running routes and, and Jimmy and, and Keenan and watch how they fall off the table. I mean, Skip, is like, pap, 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 and they fall off the table on the out route. Or they run the goal route. I mean, it, I mean the uh, comeback, and it looks like a goal, Skip. I mean, they, and all of a sudden, they put on the brakes. Dez, I, you can do it, and I understand pride of skill. You don't get to where you are without being a prideful individual to play I know, professional but sports. Are you telling me you're almost 30 before you get it, you know, before you decide to dedicate yourself to your craft? Really? Well, hey, Skip. Okay. When you get it, doesn't matter. Is that he's getting it. He realizes. And I'm sorry that it took three down years. After the first year, he should like, man, hey, something going on now. Yeah. The second year, you're like, there's no way I'm letting another year go by without seeing someone because something's not right. But after the third year, so he didn't really have a choice. Mm. Sometimes we're forced, forced into changes. He's forced Okay, well, I'm not going to back off what I said a couple of weeks back. They would be better off without Des Bryant next year. It doesn't look like that's going to happen. Right. The decks are not going to get cleared. So I guess this is uh, the best we got is... Uh, a receiver guru. Well, so what right? is, is, is Alan Hearns? I mean, is that uh, is that going to possibly work out? I don't know. But they don't that, have any money. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Oh, hold on. See, you see how, oh, whoa, how whoa, whoa. he smiled? Hold on. Joy, you mean to tell me uh, Jerry Jones ain't got no money? He worth $5 billion. He well, no he money. has money, but, the, yeah. you know, the, they, yeah. they have Well, money. you got to spend it wisely. Yeah. It's like my granddad used to give me a dollar going to the store, and I'd buy, like, 50 bubble gums. But I ain't got nothing for no pop. I ain't got nothing for no honey bun. He like, son, no, you know, budget your money. My brother come out there with like 17 different things. I got 20 pieces of bubble gum. That's funny that you call it pop. A soda. Uh, that's I a call it pop, poetry. too. <laughs> that's for my mother. Coke. That's oh, yeah. Well, if you're from the South, Coke. that's all you drink. It's a Coke. Pop. Next up, it rained here in L.A. yesterday. More important.